This is weeds and plants for food and medicine part two. Okay, these little plants right here that look kind of like strawberries with the yellow flower, they're not really a strawberry. They're called an Indian strawberry. They're good to cook the leaves. The fruit has a slight watermelon taste to it. It's good for vitamin C and it has cancer killing properties. Okay, these pretty little plants right here are called Creeping Charlie. They got little purple to blue on them. Uh, they're good for salads, they're high in vitamin C. You can use it in place of hops for making beer. The tea is good for sci sciatica, tinnitus, ulcers, uh, helps the kidneys, good for indigestion, cough and tuberculosis, and you can snort the dried leaves for taking care of headaches. This plant right here is called a yellow sow thistle. Very nutritious uh, to the dried plant contains 28 grams of protein per 100 grams of plant. I am vitamin C, calcium, iron. Eat the leaves when they're young like spinach. It's good for laxative. Uh, it's good for eczema, rashes, sores, ulcers. Use the whole plant in a tea to clear toxins from your body. Uh, breaks a fever. You can make a compress and a leaf cup, uh, poultice. It's good for inflammation. Okay, this here is a lilac. The flowers are edible. It can be used for making tea. It's part of the olive family. If you Soak the leaves in cold water for 30 minutes. It makes a great infusion for a face cleanser. And the leaves and flowers are used for treating malaria. This plant here is called an all heel or a Prinalia vulgaris. You can make tea from dried flowers. It's good for fever, antiviral, uh, used for treating herpes and gingivitis. Careful not to use it if you're diabetic, it will drop your blood sugar. Uh, has antihistamines in it, anti inflammatory, it's high in vitamins A, C. K and flavonoids. Okay. This plant here that looks like a grass is called sheep sorrel. It's an antibacterial. Tea is good for nasal swelling, respiratory tract. Diuretic, you use the leaves in the salad. Has a tart lemony flavor. It's anti-cancer. Reduces fever, diarrhea, and scurvy. Wouldn't recommend it for people with arthritis or kidney stones. A little juice mixed with vinegar treats ringworm. Roasted and wrapped cold word, it works for bringing boils to a head, kind of like uh, the old black drawings have. And here we have what they call Philadelphia fleabane. Uh, teas used to treat epilepsy. You can chew on the roots or make a tea for coughs and cold. You can make a poultice for headaches. Um,
works with a head cold, breaks fevers. It's good for your heart. Don't use if you're pregnant. It will cause miscarriage. And I believe that is it for today. I hope this helps.